Why is my website slow? Part 3. Let's talk about caching. So here's the typical content of any WordPress website. You have scripts, images, content, theme, plugin data, and other things I'm oversimplifying here. But the scripts can be the Facebook pixel, Google Analytics, Google Fonts, social sharing icons, everything else. And the images content can come from the database, the CDN, the storage, and theme plugin data also have to come to storage. So basically, an entire page that has to be created, so many different things have to come together for the page to be created. And this has to happen for every single page and every single user every single time they visit any single page. But here's the important part. The page actually does not change over time, but this has to happen continuously. So someone figured out that if the page is not changing, why not just create a copy of this entire thing and use that copy to serve users? It doesn't make a difference. And obviously you can make this copy again if the actual page changes. And that is the concept of caching. Instead of having to collect all the things, the assets to create your page every single time, Caching creates a copy of the entire website, which is then used to serve the visitors. And if the content on the website changes, the cache is then refreshed to reflect the changes. So now you understand caching, but how to implement it on your site? Let me show you that. So most good hosting providers and even the ones we recommend will automatically install and configure some caching plugin. For example, this website is on Hostinger and I just updated a plugin, Google Analytics by Monster Insights. So I updated this plugin and you can see light speed cache updated successfully. So this is the plugin that hosting has installed and configured on the site. And every time I make a change, for example, upload a plugin and update a plugin, the cache is being rebuilt. And if you want to see the icon, this is the Lightspeed Cache icon. And by the way, Lightspeed Cache is one of the best plugins I recommend for basic users that you want to just set up caching. And most hosting providers might install this already. And you also have another plugin called W3 Total Cache, which is also pretty phenomenal. Both are free. And if you want to get the best performance, then you can go for WP Rocket, which is not a free plugin, but it includes caching and performance optimization as one package. It's pretty good, but it's not free. So that's how you set up caching on a WordPress website and make your website fast. Make sure to follow me for more website building advice.